Hi everyone, welcome to Touch Base Thursday for Halloween, October 31st. I'm excited to be sharing some awesome projects with you all tonight. I'm just gonna give it a couple of minutes for everyone to get logged on here and for me to also get um, on with my computer here. And then we are going to get started here. I'm move that out of my way. Um, let's see here. So if you're able to see me, please comment. Let me know that you're out there and we'll get started momentarily. So I don't know about where you live, but here in Michigan, we are having some really icky weather, icky, icky weather. Um, hi, Susie. Hi, Sonia and Janie. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, but yes, here in Michigan, we have some icky, rainy, slushy, snowy weather on Halloween. And so my youngest daughter is out trick-or-treating with a couple of her friends. I know she's going to come home wet and cold. And my, um, my uh, oldest daughter actually just did the, we do trick-or-treating in Warner Hall where I work at CMU um, from four until five. And so she came and helped hand out candy there. And she actually has a night off tonight. They only had marching band practice till four and her dance class got canceled because of it being Halloween. So she actually has a night off. Um, so she's actually home, which is so not, I'm not used to having her home because she's been so, so busy. So um, thanks everyone for already sharing. Those of you that have been following me for a while, you know my routine. Um, so feel free to, to share my video and you get your name into my awesome drawing. And so before we go over some quick announcements, I'm going to announce the winners of um, my sharing from last week and we have a bolt of seaside spray ribbon and the seaside spray ribbon is going to go to Beth Merkel. Beth you have been lucky the last um, couple of months. Your name just keeps popping up in that little wheel life spin. So congratulations Beth. I'll get that in the mail to you with a card. And then the winner of the pearls is Carol Grove. So congratulations, Carol. Carol is one of my amazing long distance customers and buys a lot of my kits and, and orders from me as well. And so does Beth. So thank you guys all so very much for ordering with me and for joining me on my Facebook lives. Um, up for grabs next week, I'm doing some Christmas themed things. So we have the red rhinestone jewels and we have, this is actually was my deal of the week last week. So there was, I think, four or five of you that maybe are getting this bolt of ribbon. Anybody who put in an order with me last week, and it was over $40, you are going to be receiving this bolt of ribbon. This is the, the real red, it looks like the little sweater trim. It goes with the Let It Snow bundle. Um, and yeah, love that. So those are the two items that are up for grabs this coming week for sharing my video. So those winners will be announced next week. So what do I have in the way of announcements? I have a few things to share with you guys. So tomorrow's November 1st. So there's lots of things that you can start to purchase um, tomorrow. One is our new Stampin' Up! trimmer, paper trimmer. So that is available for purchase. And then so is the Christmas time suite. Now the Christmas time, um, the Christmas time is here product suite. I featured a couple weeks ago on my Facebook Live. So you guys remember the roses that I made and the pretty projects. You are now able to purchase that bundle. And I um, will tell you that I am running um, a promotion the whole month. So um, my promotion for the month of November, I mentioned last week that I was going to be doing a promotion where I call it my um, gratitude month. And I'm grateful for all of you. And so what I'm offering is anybody who puts in a minimum $50 order with me, it cannot be combined with a club order or um, a class order, but anybody who puts in a $50 order with me, you will get to pick out a package of blends, the Stampin' Blends, any color of your choice. So after you order, you need to tell me what color you want. You'll get both the light and the dark. That is, they're valued at $9. And you will also get um, uh, four free cards in the mail. And the cards, they won't be holiday themed, they'll be cards from the annual catalog. So um, I'm actually making some swap cards for an event that I have at on stage, and I'm gonna be making a few more to be able to send to all of you that put in an order with me during the month of November, um, outside of any club or class order. So that is what I'm offering for the month of November to show my gratitude for um, all of you for, um, for following me, watching me, um, being here and all that great stuff. Let me mute my computer. I just started talking. So anyway, um, 
I'm trying to think of other announcements that I have. Um, the fall home decor class, I have a, a few of you that purchased that. Those are gonna be going out um, this weekend. I have those just about ready to go out. And I have all of my products ordered for those of you that purchased my um, Christmas toy class. And then I have two more um, classes that I'll be offering online. Um, and well, if you're local to the area, you can do them here. But I'm actually working on a little six by eight scrapbook using the Let It Snow product suite and I cannot wait to share that one with you and then I um, have a Christmas sampler that I will be um, uh, showing um, or offering as an online class or kit in the mail and that sampler uses the brightly gleaming suite and then I also have a class using the um, the snow globe shakers and the cards with that so um, those I'm hoping to get out here fairly soon so you guys can purchase those and I can get them to you um, by the middle mid to end of November so you have time to make them before the holidays um, an update on my family because I know you guys always ask me how everyone's doing so update is my son Matt is feeling better so yes thank goodness um, I mentioned uh, last week he had pneumonia. He was very sick. He's doing a lot better. And the other big news for the week is that Natalie's team, um, our team, her marching band qualified for state finals. And so um, I had to rearrange my Saturday, and I want to thank everyone for understanding. Um, but I had to rearrange an event that I had, and I have one of my team members, um, Robin, bless her heart, doing a craft show for me that I committed to doing so that I can go watch them perform. Um, they will be, for, be performing really early on Saturday morning at Ford Field. I could not not go. Those of you that know um, where Ford Field is, but it's basically where the Detroit Lions play. So what an honor for her to be able to do, to march on that field. And so um, I always tell everybody, you know, I'm following my own directive. I always tell my customers, family first. And so I needed to put my family first. And so I appreciate, like I said, Robin for her her helping me and everyone understanding um, that I needed to be there for that. But she performs at like 8.30 in the morning. So it's gonna be a very early morning. Um, we are going to be up and on the road by five o'clock, but her team leaves at 3.30. So she is going to be catching the bus. Um, we have to have her at the school between 3.15, 3.30. They are leaving 3.45 um, to head for, the, um, for Ford Field. So anyway, I'm excited to be able to be there and um, be able to watch um, her marching band perform there. So we just found out last week that they qualified. So anyway, exciting times for, for her, that is for sure. Um, and other than that, that is really all that's been happening the last week. I've been getting ready for classes and you know all these, I am doing three different craft shows this, this year and um, that sort of thing. So I do wanna mention also though that I have um, my scrapbook and card club that I'm looking for members for, and I my clubs run all of the time, so you can join at any time. But I a lot of the people, um, the the new, a lot of new people are starting in. I think it's December. So if you um, are interested in my card club or my scrapbook club, how it works is you basically put in a minimum order every month, and then you get. Um, it's a minimum order of either 25 or 35, depending if you do scrapbook club or card club. But then one month during that 10 month commitment, so it's a 10 month commitment, you get one of my classes in the mail for free, one of my card classes. There's usually at least two to pick from. Scrapbook pages, you get what I designed, but I know most people have loved them and altered them to be whatever they want them to be. Um, and then one of those 10 months that you're a part of my club, you get to be the host. So you get at least $50 in free product. So those of you that purchase a lot of my classes, you might wanna consider joining my club for at least one of the kits because that way um, you just give me an order, you get your kit and yeah, it works out really well. So if you want more information on that, let me know. Oh, and Kathy mentioned Claire and her orchestra. So yes, thank you, Kathy. So um, Claire um, had her orchestra concert this past week on Mon Tuesday night. And um, she actually had a little mini solo in it. So I will post it in my page. Um, I didn't post it there. I think I posted it on my personal page, but I know most of you are friends with me there. But um, at about the minute one, one minute nine second mark, she's got about a 10 minutes um, solo uh, fame for, for herself for, um, for where she had a little bit of a solo with her cello. So anyway, exciting for her. Um, she is loving that and we love to listen to her. So it's been pretty awesome. Um, so I think that's all I have in the way of announcements. Not a lot, like I said, I mentioned the trimmer is going live tomorrow for anybody who wants to purchase the trimmer. Um, the Christmas time is here, but product suite goes live. 
And I will tell you that November, later on in November, November 20th through the 22nd, they're doing an online extravaganza. So it's going to be a huge, um, kind of like an on online promotion. Again, if those of you that don't like to order online, you can just tell me what you would like. I'll be posting information as time gets closer on that. Keep in mind, if even if you order from the online promotion, you can still get my gratitude promotion, which is that free pack of blends and four free cards with any $50 order. So anyway, the products that I'm going to be sharing with you tonight is part of the... Now, I showcased this when I came home from the incentive trip in July. This bundle is one that we received on the trip. And I showcased it a little bit, but I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with it until this week. And I, I'm i loving it. So this is the Most Wonderful Time product medley. So it's similar to that Everything is Rosy medley that Stampin' Up! had in the spring. But this one is all Christmas themed. And it's got lots of stuff in it. And I've designed about, gosh, eight or nine cards in the matter of like an hour and a half of me just playing with it. Now these cards are very simple, easy, duplicatable cards. There's not a whole lot of stamping because I was in a hurry to get them designed. I was um, gone most of last weekend with my team retreat. So I didn't want to take a lot of time doing a lot of stamping. So I really incorporated the stickers into these cards. Um, but they turned out beautifully. And I think that this is going to be a really good medley for somebody new or somebody who's just starting out to want to make some cards without having to purchase a lot of product or have to invest a lot of time. So um, with that, I am going to transition my camera down to my stamp area. And I am going to share with you guys some really cute and fun cards that I made using the Most Wonderful Time product medley. And I'll show you a little bit more of the product that's included in that medley as well. So bear with me as I um, transition my camera down to my stamp area. And let's stamp some projects together. Okay, let me move this down. So you guys are going to be getting a little sneak peek of some of my cards. That's usually what I do. I kind of uh, show you guys a sneak peek of all of them. Um, but you're going to get to see a lot of them. A little bit up close and personal here in a minute and I really really like um, this product medley I will tell you that um, I think I like the everything is rosy just a little bit more but mainly because the everything is rosy had colors that totally spoke to me because I'm all about pink as you guys know so let me get out my adhesives here and we will get started in just a minute I don't have dimensionals and glue dots so you need to get those out Okay, so the first thing that I want to share with you is the colors. I'm going to move all of the stuff out of the way here, and I'm going to share with you the colors um, that are in this product medley after I pick up all these cards, because like I said, I kept designing and designing and designing. So this product medley has three colors in it. It has real red, whisper white, and um, old olive. And the products that you get included in this product suite are um, you get let me see here you get um, the stamp set so this is the stamp set you get some coordinating framelits and I'm going to share with you what's in the framelits because I feel like the um, framelits um, are a really good choice for what's with the stamp set you get um, framelits to cut out the um, they will cut out the, so these are designed for you to stamp and they fit perfectly into these presents. And then they're gonna cut out. You can see that cuts out the tops of those. And then you have one for the tree. You have one that will do like a foil angel or a star. This one will do this little tree down here. And then you have this awesome label shape for doing these kind of sentiments right here. Now, again, with the cards that I made, the only framelit that I actually used was the one for the presents. And I'll show you that in just a bit. But keep in mind, I did not do a lot of stamping because of the time involved. And I and again, I was trying to really think of the simple stamper and somebody who maybe doesn't have a whole lot of experience stamping who um, would like to be able to make Christmas cards. So it comes with the stamp set and these awesome framelits. And then you get these um, gold stars, which I use on a bunch of my cards. And then it comes with this tinsel, this little um, gold tinsel. Now I did find this a little bit harder to work with and you'll see that here tonight when I when I start to, to play with it some more. You'll see that it's kind of hard to get it to lay flat and, but I still did some cute things with it. And then you get a bunch of designer series paper. One side has your copper look to it and the other side is your plain look. So this one's got candy canes. Here's some Christmas trees. 
um, candy canes, the striped one. I really like that striped one. On the back of the striped one is like um, green with stars. Here's your presents. And yes, I use those framelits to cut some of those presents out. Bows. I like this little holly one that I think is really pretty. So one side of all of this paper has the little foil, the gold foil elements incorporated in it. And then this one is the deer. Isn't that really pretty too? And on the other side of this is just your little like Christmas stars. So I really like that paper. Um, and I don't remember how much of the paper you get. Let me look at the catalog and tell you. I'm sure it tells you how many sheets that you get in this. You get um, 48 sheets of this 6 by 6 paper. Now this product medley sells for $70. Um, but it includes a ton of product. So everything I'm going to be sharing with you tonight, it includes. And it comes in a white box like this. So that everything will stick to get, will stay together. And you don't have to worry about losing everything. So when you sit down to make cards, all you need to do is grab out the colors of cardstock and you'd be able to make some cards. And then it also includes some of these. Um, these are great for card base or card mats. And I actually used, I think, one of these on the cards we're going to make tonight. So it also comes with that. And then you get some stickers. And the stickers are what I, I love because um, I feel like you can use these stickers until you um, run out of them. And then you need to start going to the stamped images. But I love the stickers. So you get some candy canes. I don't think I used any of the candy canes. You get some of these little stickers that you can stamp sentiments on, which is what I've done. You get some with the deer. And you'll see some of them are missing because, again, I used them. Here I used a bunch of trees. So, but there's, I think you get two sticker sheets in all of these, of all of these. So I've got more, um, I think, I hope, I've got more trees that I can use. I do believe they're in here somewhere. So those are what you get with, um, with the, with the kit, all of these awesome stickers, which I think, like I said, they're pretty amazing. Okay. Then what else do you get? That might be everything. And like I said, it's a bunch of stuff, bunch, bunch of stuff. So let me share with you some of the cards that I made. Move all of this stuff out of the way. We're going to be needing to use some of this. So I need to kind of strategically place my stuff here so that I don't have a complete mess. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the first card that I'm going to showcase for you is this pretty card right here. Oh, wait, I better do them in the order in which they show up in my pile. Because I designed so many of them. Okay, so the first card that I'm going to share with you is this one right here. Now, again, this one, the only thing I stamped on it is the O oh Christmas tree. I did use some of these stitched shapes to create the, get the oval. So I chose to use um, cherry, not cherry cobbler, real red. Real red is the base of my card. And, um, just gonna fold that in half. And then I have a piece of this cardstock and this time, I, or this designer paper. And this time I chose to use the candy cane. And this is cut five and a quarter by four. And I'm just going to adhere this down to my card. And then I cut out one of the circles using the stitched labels or the stitched stitched shapes. Sorry, I had to think about that. It's been a long day today. So we had, like I said, we had um, trick-or-treating in our office. Um, I do training on a demonstrator group that I'm, uh, I'm a part of. And I was, every four weeks, I'm the trainer there. So I had that at four o'clock today. And then it was rush home and have dinner and totally get com completely set up for you, my video for you guys. So it's been a little bit of a crazy, hectic day. Okay, so then I used, let me find my stickers here. Um, let me see here. And I may not have any more of the trees. I thought we had one more of them, but maybe not. One, two, three, four. So we don't have any more of the trees, but that's okay. You guys will get the gist of it. So what I did is I stuck the trees down. These are just stickers. And I stuck these two down. And this one I actually dimensioned on. And then I topped it off with some of the little stars. But I want to show you guys how easy it is to stamp on these right here. Because I think that the, the card makes it look so real that it looks like that's an actual cutout when it's just simply um, one of these. 
And so um, I'm gonna stamp the old Christmas tree directly onto one of those. And it's easier to stamp it before you actually adhere it onto the card. So I'm just gonna kind of rub my ink together here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the old Christmas tree on there. You wanna make sure you give it time and let it dry. My ink's a little bit gunky because I just re-inked my black Memento ink pads. And then all I did from here is I adhered this to the bottom of my card, my project down here. And then what I would do, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to finish the card because I don't have any more of those trees. I really thought I had another, so the trees came on this and I thought I had um, one more sheet of it, but I don't, but it's okay. It's Cause what I would do at this point is I would incorporate the stamp and you could stamp a couple of those green trees. I'm just saving that stuff cause I don't have the stamp um, or the ink here and things like that. But again, you guys will get the gist of it. And then I incorporated some of these little holly berries onto the card as well. And I'm gonna actually, since I have these, stick this down onto the top up here. Again, these are all stickers, you guys, so all you have to do is pull them off here. There is no, no, um, already self, it's sticky. I did rip one of these, so you are gonna wanna be really careful with it. Um, and I'm just gonna put one down here in the bottom as well. But you kind of see how quick and easy it is to put that card together. Quick, simple format. Now, if I didn't um, stamp the old Christmas tree on there, I could have actually incorporated a couple of these deer. I have lots of these deer. Um, so what I might do is actually put a, uh, a tree on here with a deer because that would look really cool as well. So that is the first card. And again, everything out of here with this is out of that product medley. Um, and even, like I said, even the, the stamp is also part of that. The only ink color that I chose to use tonight is the Memento Black. Again, I'm keeping this class and these samples easy for somebody who's brand new to stamping. So if you're watching my video and you're new to stamping and you might feel a little intimidated, this is a great place to start. All you would need to do is purchase this $70 kit and a one black ink pad and maybe a block to be able to put your adhesive or your um your uh stamp set on your images and your um, sentiments and you would be good to go so that is the first card that i wanted to share with you let me go i'm going to go right in the order in which i have these cards laid out because when i was making them i cut out um two of them so that I could demonstrate one. This one is probably one of my favorites. Um, and this time I actually chose to cut the designer series paper the full um, the full size of the front of the card. So, so many times we like to cut mats that are five and a quarter by four. So we have that little bit of an edge around, around the, the mat size. And this time I chose to cover the entire card. I used Whisper White from my card base. So this is cut five and a half by four and a quarter and it's gonna cover the card completely. So let me bring in my Whisper White cardstock that serves as the base of my project. And so then this is the piece of, of designer series paper that I've cut that size. Now, um, sometimes when you cut them and you think you have them the perfect size, they might be a tad big or a little bit off. And I'm gonna show you what I do if that happens. So let me first adhere this piece down to, now when you do them the full size, I also like to put a lot of adhesive on here because I want this to be able to be, um, to stick really, really well. And I also sometimes will open the card back up so that I can be able to line this stick it where you don't want it because that's no good either. So I line up the one side and then just let the rest fall down. Now, if this was a little bit too long, which it's not, I did pretty good, but you can see here it goes over a little bit. So all you're gonna do is take some paper snips, if I have some paper snips. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here they are. So I'm just gonna take my paper snips and all I'm gonna do is trim this off a little bit and no one will even know that I did. I then cut a piece of cardstock of Whisper White. Now this is cut, I believe, four and a half. Maybe not four and a half. And I know it's two by probably maybe three and a half. Um, again, you can kind of just improvise. I don't think I actually cut it a specific size. I just kind of estimated. And I um, stamped this on the bottom. Now that is also one of those awesome stickers. So let me bring that sticker back in. 
that sticker sheet. I know I've got a couple of those left. Here we go. So I'm going to stamp. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas on that. Again, it's one of the sentiments from the stamp set. The stamp set has four sentiments. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas, or Christmas tree, comfort and joy, and deck the halls. And I left the ones I was using right in the top so of the lid so that I wouldn't um, have to pull them out again for tonight. And I'm just going to adhere that to my block. Again, I'm bringing in my Memento Black ink. And I am just going to stamp this directly onto one of these little um, banners. Let me put that away. Always put your ink away because you know what happens? If you don't sometimes, you're, you get your ink into your project. And trust me, it's not, you will be really frustrated. <laughs> Been there, done that a couple times. And I'm going to adhere this down here to the bottom of my whisper white piece and then I have a couple of deer that I put on this and one of them I actually adhered directly down onto my project and the other one I put on with a few couple of dimensionals I wanted it to be a little bit raised now there is some stickiness behind it so like the doe's feet here actually did stick down it's okay it still gives you the dimension that you're looking for so let me find that one and we're going to put a couple of dimensionals on it just right here in the belly part of the belly and the butt how's that part of the deer and we're going to go ahead and pull off those dimensional backings and you'll see that this just makes this look really nice and pop really nice like she's standing right in front of him and then I topped it off with a, a few, a couple of stars as well. Now these stars are also on these sticker sheets. A tip for the stars. If you try to pull the stars off, the little pieces that are in between try to come up with it. So what I did is I actually pushed that star down really, really good to stick all those little pieces down. And that way when I went to pick up the outer part, nothing came with it. So there's a little tip for you guys from somebody who's used this and struggled with that before. It works a lot better if you push that all down and then just bring up one of the corners. And then I put this whole piece on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm just going to put a dimensional in the four corners. And how simple is that for a card? It doesn't get much simpler than that either. Um, like I said, all of these cards um, are designed to... Um, all these cards are designed to be quick and simple and um, ones that you could easily duplicate. Um, a bath, yes, you probably could use the embossing buddy to take off the stickiness. Rub that on there and it would take that off because the embossing buddy has powder in it. So if you rub it across, it'd make it not sticky. So yeah, it absolutely would, but you can tell that I was in a hurry and um, just went with it. <laughs> That's kind of what Kim does sometimes. So there is card number two. Um, the next card that I'm going to share with you, and I'm trying to keep up with some of your guys' comments, so um, they're, they're coming in slowly. Hopefully my internet is better. We've been having some router issues, and we actually got um, that fixed, we hope. So hopefully it'll be working a little bit better for, for tonight. Okay, so the next card I'm going to share with you is this really cute and simple one right here. Now, what I really liked about this product suite, again, I wasn't looking to do much stamping because I needed to keep it quick and simple when I was designing. So this is the star, or the star, the tree punch that coordinates with the wrapped in plaid suite. And I thought this tree was perfect to bring in to also use with this prod these projects tonight so i encourage you guys when you're looking at different projects and different products don't hesitate to cross them over into different product suites i know i focus a lot on product suites because for me it's simple it's easy it's a good way for me to design um, but there are good times to bring things in where um where appropriate and i feel this one this punch is appropriate with this bundle so you could always just punch out a star or a star why do i keep calling it a star a tree if um, you would like to do that instead. 
Now with this card, I incorporated some other framelits. These framelits coordinate with the Bird Ballad product suite that's in our annual catalog. These are called the Stitched, Nest, Stitched Nested Label Dies, and I love them. I really love all of the dies that have the great little edging around it, um, like the stitched edging. So I thought that would be cute to incorporate on this card as well. I also used the wood grain embossing folder. So uh, this time I chose to use um, Old Olive. So Old Olive is the base for my card for tonight on this project. And um, oops, if I know how to get that to fold straight. And then I went ahead and put this mat directly on to there. And sometimes, you know, I get questions asked from different customers, why would I want to do color on color? Why Old Olive on Old Olive? And it's just nice to give it that little bit of an edge to look. You can still see that you got the mat around there. And it just gives it a nice little, little edge to look, okay? And then I have some designer series paper. Now this is the on the candy cane. I'm gonna use the striped. Now this is cut two by, I have to remember here, two by four and no, two and a quarter by four. And so this is cut two by three and three fourths. So I always like to keep my designer series paper cuts to be in about two inch strips so I can maximize the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down to my real red mat here and then I'm going to adhere this entire piece down to my card so and like I said I, every time I, I get different product I don't know if I'm going to like it until I play with it and that was the case with this one I mean it was great and I liked it but I'm like do I really need it will I use it and then I saw how simple it was for me to create my projects for you guys because so I didn't have a lot of time this week and realized that this would be perfect for people who are just really busy and need to make cards quickly and, and fast. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my Comfort and Joy on the bottom. Again, I'm going to be using my, my Memento Black. Now, you could incorporate the Old Olive ink or the Real Red ink because, again, all the products in this suite include those colors. But I chose to keep it really simple and simplistic for my purposes tonight. Wouldn't have to clean off all those stamps all of the time. And then in advance, I've also cut out and punched out one of these one of these stars. Nice star, right? One of the trees. Um, telling you. <laughs> you can tell it's getting towards the end of the day for me because that's kind of um, been how it's been with me calling things everything they shouldn't be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down to the top part of this label. And then I'm going to use one of the stars. This is one of the stars from the product medley. And I'm just going to adhere that to the top. You can see how I just slid it right on there. That's what I do a lot. And then I'll just move it where I need it to be and secure it really good. And then I'm going to adhere this entire piece with dimensionals. So the only framelits that I think I used outside of using anything from the product medley were these. And I, then I used the stitched shapes. I have another couple that have... Um, circles on them as well and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this down to my card and there you have another really quick and simple card using that product medley and I'm going to keep going I have a lot to share with you guys but um, I don't want to keep you too too long but I, I just kept going I just kept making these my husband was down here talking to me as I was making them and um <laughs> And he was like, how many projects are you making for the month on Thursday? He knows that I usually make, you know, five or six. And I said, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to keep working while you're talking to me. So that's kind of what happened. Um, my next card that I'm going to share with you is this one right here. And I love this one. Um, now, this is the, the stickers that I don't have anymore. But you could easily stamp these. That's the joy of this. You have some right there to stamp. And I'm going to amp actually improvise and use that star punch tree punch that one I did on purpose um, and show you how I'm again how in a pinch you can improv improvise with different trees this is the pretty present paper now this is cut um, two inches by four and a quarter to fit right along the bottom there so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down to my card now this one looks like I've cut it a little bit too big and this is what I'm going to show you sometimes that happens when you're cutting with your paper trimmer it just happens um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this down right flush to the edge of that card 
And then I have a little strip of real red cardstock. This I believe is like a quarter of an inch um, or maybe even a half of an inch. I'm just gonna adhere that down to the top of that paper. So this is a really great way to use up some scraps that you might have just laying around. I'm gonna adhere this down. And because I'm out of Christmas trees, I'm gonna improvise on this card actually. So here I go again with my impromptu stuff. So I stamped Oh Christmas Tree on my sample, but I'm gonna incorporate some of those reindeer because I have lots of those reindeer left. So instead of stamping that, I'm gonna stamp Comfort and Joy, and I'm gonna stamp it right here in the corner. So I'm gonna bring in my Memento ink. Oh, Philomena, you have thunderstorms. So um, we actually have snow, but it's not sticking, but we have big wet snowflakes that are um, coming down right now. We're under a winter weather advisory, but I'm really hoping that nothing sticks because it's, the ground is too warm. But so much icky weather going on, that's for sure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some of these deer, because I've got lots of them left. And I'm gonna incorporate a couple of deer on here. So actually I'm gonna do the whole, the buck and doe thing again. So I'm gonna adhere my buck down first. And then I'm gonna put my dough on with a couple of dimensionals. Uh, and I wanted to let you guys know that next week I will be featuring a stamp set that I just purchased. Told myself that I didn't need it, but one of my customers decided that I really did. Um, she was here when I was putting in my order and said, oh, you have to do it. I'm going to be showing you guys some cute projects with the Elfie stamp set. So if you haven't seen the Elfie stamp set yet, um, and I haven't designed my projects yet, that will be my Sunday, my Sunday fun time. But I can't wait. I, I just got it in the mail yesterday. And so I'll be sharing with you guys some really cute projects with that. So and I'm just going to put my dough down there like that. So a little improvising going on. Now the other so I'm just going to kind of put a couple here and there. So this is kind of what you do with this product suite. You just kind of have fun with it. And look at how simple a little bit of an improvi improvising blah can do with a card. Okay, so um, Susie, I love this, this one too. I mean, like I said, it wasn't on my list. I'm not sure if I would have purchased it, but because I got it um, on my incentive trip, I used it and now I'm in love with it. So, I mean, like really quickly here, I've designed, I think eight cards, plus I'm doing them again with all of you tonight. So there is 16 cards in no time at all with three packs of cardstock. Okay, so my next card that I'm gonna share with you is I think one of my favorites that I designed. It's this pretty one right here. And so this time I used that tree punch, tree punch, I got it right. And use some of the designer series paper, use one of those sentiments, use a little bit of that tinsel that you're gonna see t me struggle with because that is a little bit harder to use, but it's really pretty. And I created this cute and simple card. So I used all three colors that are in this product medley. I used the real red for the card base. I used the old olive for the mat. And I used the whisper white for my other mat. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere my white onto my old olive. And then I'm going to adhere this to my card base. From there I cut out three different trees using designer series paper. And I already did that here in advance. So I'm going to use the Mm -hmm. So I want to turn them over and put dimensionals on. So that's another little tip. Sometimes you might be like, oh my gosh, I put dimensionals on the wrong side. Um, lay it out, then turn things over so that you know which, um, which part you want to put dimensionals on. Now I'm using the ends of my dimensionals. I'm not sure if all of you do that. And if you don't, why not? Because there's a lot of uh, more sticky edges you can use them for. I mean, like, no one's going to know that this is not the perfect shape of what a stamp and dimensional is supposed to look like. Um, so I really encourage you guys to use your edges. I know a lot of times in my classes, my ladies won't, and then I use all my edges for my projects. I don't mind because they're really kind of cool that way. So then I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on my card. 
to be able to hold down this tinsel. And what I did with the tinsel is I just kind of started here on the one end. I, um, you can see it's not wanting to lay very good, so that's why I really needed to use some um, adhesive to hold it down. And then I just circled it back around. So I kind of held it with my finger like that, brought it back up right on top of that adhesive. And I'm actually gonna cut this. See how it kind of is a little bit, it curls kind of funny. But all in all, it's really pretty and it adds a little bit of a nice touch to your card. Um, it's probably my least favorite stuff to work with, but you know, can't like it all, all of the time, right? And then I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive here on this end to kind of bring this around to finish it off. Okay, so nothing too, too fancy. And then I'm gonna layer my trees right on top of that. Let me bring my sample in so you guys can kind of see it along as I'm going. So I'm just gonna layer my trees. I probably should have had that tinsel go, whoops, helps to take them both off. I probably should have had that tinsel go a little bit longer, but it's okay. And, whoops, I need this one next. And I'm kind of putting them on here where they're touching each other. And then my last one will snug in right down here. So you can see that kind of helps keep all that down. So yeah, I should have moved it all over a little bit, but oh well. And then I'm going to use these stars to put on the top of my trees. Again, I just slide them right off and then position them where I would like them to be on my trees. You could also use scissors and tweezers. I just find this to be an easier way for me. They slide right off for me that way and I just move them up into place and hope they don't go flying across the room. I've had that happen before as well. And then I just stamped the sentiment with one of those stickers, put it with dimensionals and put it on my card. So quick, easy, simple as well. Okay, this, let me find it here. This one right here was probably one of my easiest cards that I made. So this one is using one of those sheets that I mentioned to you was already the smaller sheets that comes in this product medley. So this one, the card base is the old olive. And then I wanted a little bit more of the old olive to be shown all the way around. So I cut my mat on this one at five by three and three fourths instead of five and a quarter by four. So it gives me a little bit more of a border around there. So I'm just gonna adhere these together. Can you guys tell that I made a ton of cards with this? Like I said, I um, my Facebook Live is gonna be a little bit longer tonight because I just keep making them, but they're all cut. And I'm glad that you guys are able to stay tuned in to watch me, so I appreciate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there like that. And then I cut out an oval using the um, layering ovals. I actually meant to use the, the stitched shapes and I couldn't find them. And so I grabbed my layering ovals and then I found the other ones sitting right next to me. So I went with it. I already had these two cut and so um, otherwise they would have been the same one with the little stitched edging. And then I incorporated a little bit of this underneath of here. And all I did was kind of um, cut it into a couple little, like I said, this stuff is really not the most easiest to work with, but I just cut it into a couple little things like this and I put a glue dot underneath of it. You find my glue dots to kind of hold it together. And then I just shoved it underneath that layering oval. So that's why I didn't use a ton of this because like I said, it's just not the most easy stuff to work with. But I shoved a little bit underneath there and you can work with it however you want. And then I used these awesome stickers and I'm just going to put a couple of these onto my oval. And this is where you wanna be careful because you do not wanna rip it. I did already rip one of them. Because they're very kind of, um, they can easily rip those little branches off. I'm gonna put one like that and then I'm gonna take a little one and put it on down the bottom down here like this. 
And then I just stamped the deck the halls on the top again using one of those little stickers. And then the next one, I'm going to actually make one more with you, then I'll just show you my last one because I didn't realize I've been in here for 45 minutes already. So this is the cute one that I think is really, really adorable. And I want to make sure you guys see this because I used the framelit to cut out that paper. So I used the Real Red for my card base, and then I used the pretty foil paper, and I used this part, five and a quarter by four. So you can see that I really used a lot of designer paper on these cards because why not? It came with it and it coordinated so beautifully. I used another one of the layering or the stitched shapes from the Circles collection. And then let me find a piece of this paper because it doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits good enough. So this is the paper, the gift paper that's part of the product medley. And then let me bring in the die that's part of the medley. So I was really hoping that these gifts would line up perfectly with a couple of the gifts on here. But in all of my looking and trying to piece it together, they do not. However, individually, they do. So if you don't like to fussy cut, you just need to find the one that fits with it. So for instance, this one right here will fit with that one. Can you see that? Um, this one in the middle will fit with, I have to find it here, they all have one that they coordinate with because I kind of, that's what I did with mine when I cut out mine and there's, there's one that fits with all of them. So let's see here. <laughs> that one will coordinate with this one here in the middle. And then the last one, I believe, will coordinate with that. Okay, so there's there are different ones that these will all coordinate with to save you having to hand cut, but truly those are not too bad to hand cut, but they are there that you can use this die as well. This die is more or less geared towards the stamp set because these do line up perfectly with the stamp set. And these three images are designed to stamp directly down in, into those, and then you cut all three of them out at once. So kind of a nice little feature with the stamp set, but not so much with the designer series paper. And then all I did was incorporate a tree on here. I did a little sentiment, cut an angle on the end of them, added my little trees under the, um, or my little gifts under the tree, and another cute card. And then the final one that I'll share with you is this one right here, and I love this how it turned out. So this time I used the designer series paper that had the Christmas trees in the background, used a Christmas tree. Oh, I did not put one of my little... Um, my little stars on that. I need to do that. I need to find my stars. So um, so this one I just did. There they are. So the trees in the background, you got a tree there, but it needs a star. So let me put a star on there. Gotta have a star on the top of your tree. There we go. Added a little bit of that tinsel. Did the Oh Christmas tree in red. Um, added a little, this is just a little scrap that I had cut off from the other card that I made and put it together to make this card right here. So those are the cards that I made for you guys. Like, you, like I said, you can see how I improvised with that one and turned it into a deer card instead of a tree card. Um, but this was so fun to play with. Um, if you haven't added this yet to your collection, I really think that you should consider it, especially if you're like knowing that you might be running out of time to make Christmas cards. Um, this would be a great solution for you. So I want to make sure that you guys also know about my ordering promotion, my um, gratitude promotion for the month of November. Any $50 order not combined with a class or club order will get you a free package of blends, both the light and the dark, a $9 value, and you will get to tell me what color of blends you would like and you'll also get four free handmade cards in the mail and that's going on the entire month of October as a as a, to show my gratitude to all of you who continue to um if all of you who continue to watch me and support me and my little Stampin' Up! business, um, I love doing it. And I just love that you guys take the time to, to watch me and follow me. So anyway, thank you guys so very much. Like I said, next Thursday, I will be designing with the Elfie stamp set. And I don't have on anything lined up yet, but I can't wait to play with it. We have an um, Elf on the shelf, and so I'm kind of excited to... Um, 
to be able to play with that and share some more projects with you guys next week. So thanks everyone. Have a great week. Remember to share to get your name in the drawing and I look forward to seeing you all next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to set your, your clock back. Those of you that are on Daylight Savings Time here in Michigan, don't forget this weekend you need to change your clocks or you need to go forward, right? Is it forward or back? Back. Go back. All right. Have a great evening, everyone, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.